Hi, Southeast Michigan Realtor Kara here. Today I'm going to do two things. I'm going to tell you about why you should consider moving to Troy, and I'm going to take you inside an NBA star's former bathroom. So if you're interested in either of those things, stick around. So first of all, I'm going to see my client, Angela. She's a peach. She's actually a patent attorney. And yes, when I'm with her, I do run by my Shark Tank ideas with her. Anyway, I'm going to take you inside her bathroom. She bought an NBA star's former home. So that'll be exciting. But also, why you should consider moving to Troy, Michigan. That's where the home is. So first of all, um, there are 48 homes currently for sale in Troy. The average home price is $358,000, but you can buy a home in Troy for anywhere from $100,000 to $2 million. And you'd be surprised to know the utility prices in Troy are actually lower a little bit than Michigan's average city. Um, and Troy schools, well, you don't have to look far on Google to realize that Troy schools are some of the best in Michigan. So if you're interested in finding out about Troy or any neighboring towns now, I live in Rochester, so I'm a bit privy to Rochester, but Troy is just a wonderful town to move to. So if you'd like to know anything about any town in Southeast Michigan, give me a call and I'm going to cut to Angela's bathroom. All right. Have a blessed day. My number is 312-545-8428. All right. Let's go see Angela. Okay. Former NBA's bathroom. And you can see how high the shower head is. My client Angela is going to reach up to touch it to give you a bit of perspective. <laughs> we are on. I hope you don't want to adjust your shower head, Angela. <laughs> I can just barely reach it. All right. Well, that sure was fun seeing the inside of an NBA star's former bathroom. Um, anyway, now I'm going to cut to the Olympic torque. Now, when I was with Angela, I noticed that the torch was extraordinarily heavy. And when I held it, I said, Angela, how far did you have to run during the ceremony carrying this thing? And she said about a quarter mile. It's extraordinarily heavy. And then I asked her, I said, well, how does the flame stay lit if it's windy and you're running? And she said, it's actually gas that feeds the fire, the flame that keeps it alive. Um, nonetheless, I'm going to show you a picture of the torch and her holding it. What a blessing. All right. Until next time, take care and have a great day.